Welcome to Synthetic Oil Protection. I'm your host, Steven. We're back with our good man, Matt. This beautiful 2017 Toyota Tundra. Suck hose inside the power steering reservoir. And that goes all the way down to our clean reservoir down here. And Matt, have you ever done the ATF fluid in the power steering yet before? Uh, me actually do it on the truck? No, this is my first time. New to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. That'll give you a notification on the next video. <laughs> Isn't that a good safety seal? Yeah, it's not bad. So that package. There you go. I well, got it. Yep, he's got it. That package is rated for 1,100 pounds of pressure, and it's like a little squeezy, juicy pouch. And basically, in the battlefields, you can take it anywhere, and you can uh, put it in any type of component, whether it be power steering, transmission, or transfer case, depending on the vehicle. Okay. It might be a shooter. And there she goes. And we're good to go. This is going to be the more simple way to just fill the reservoir and then drain it, fill it, drain it. You can also take off the hose, which is right here. If you want to, you need to have uh, a little bit of clamp pliers, needle nose, and then you want to wiggle this off with a hose pick. Uh, but today we're just going to make it simple. We're just going to show you the most easiest way to go about it. As this ages, this can crack and this is, this is all one unit. And if you put too much pressure, you can actually crack the plastic. So we're gonna show you the safest way to change this fluid without breaking any plastics or cracking any rubber hoses. This is what people fantasize about, this oh, liquid cherry. Shit. Yep. A little bit yep. of a mess, A little yeah. bit of a shtickler. Oh, shit. Yep, oh, he's splooging everywhere. <laughs> Hold on, let's, let's take a step back. Hold on, oh, we gotta get God. prepared with a funnel. <laughs> Fill her up, and there she goes, that beautiful liquid cherry. 100% synthetic transmission fluid. And what that is, if you'd think about it, that's basically um, all synthetic, which keeps the metal parts separated. You have less friction, less heat, less wear. Back to what I was saying, this is 100% synthetic. And what comes in these vehicles is actually called full synthetic, which is like a synthetic blend. So an oil manufacturer can call a full synthetic, full synthetic when it's only 25% synthetic. This is 100% synthetic, so that's how it's different. Uh -huh. This is what we call Niagara Falls in a can. Oh yeah, look at that, just got rid of all that. Yep, perfect. Beautiful, money. Perfect. And there we are. All right, we're gonna motor her up here. We're gonna go ahead, we got 76,000 miles on her. And we're gonna go ahead and turn the wheel lock to lock. And that's going to circulate the fluid. So we'll do a couple of turns on her. Don't want to overfill the reservoir because as the power steering fluid gets hot, it'll actually uh, increase in volume and you can actually blow out your pump. So you don't want to way overfill it. You want to be careful with that. A second round of getting some of the fluid out of the reservoir. Ah, that's a nice royal red color. Perfect. And there she goes. Keep going. Yep. We're gonna suck her all the way out. Keep going. Fill her up. And then we're gonna go around the block and see how she feels. And we'll probably be back for a third. The liquid cherry is going in. Beautiful. We're gonna see what Matt thinks. Got the 100% synthetic liquid cherry is what we call it on the channel. And now what we're doing is we're mixing all that power steering fluid in as he turns the wheel, we get a little heat in there. Most power steerings uh, are multi-vehicle ATF or multi-vehicle uh, uh, power steering fluid. So they're either those two. Some like Hondas, they take their own power steering fluid and you can do the same process. You just suck a little bit out, fill it up. Um, if you want to get every drop out, you want to pull those hoses off. But just remember, if they're old and they're cracked, um, they can really uh, they can give you a little bit of a headache if the if the plastic bottle cracks on you. Yes, yeah, it's, it's steering better. It's not as uh, what is it like rough kind of right? It was kind huh. of making a weird noise. Nice. Yeah. All right. We'll go ripping around the block, we'll be back. So far on this sucker, what all fluids have we done? 
we did the well we did oil first yeah oh we did the coolant right coolant. We did kool-aid yep and then we did um diff fluid yeah all three axles yep and then now we're doing power steering yep and then we're going to do a transmission yep that's coming next so how is she running running good oh and that brake fluid too yep we're gonna do that coming up how's your ownership of your vehicle how's your relationship changed with all the fluids well i realized that if you want to get it done and you want to do it right use a superior product and do it yourself all right i live in i now i'm a transplant from california to law to las vegas but if you want to make sure it's done right you gotta do it yourself you kind of do it yourself that's what you'll right. find out yeah right. we're gonna do another round all right we're back after our test drive you can see the level went up a little bit and now we're gonna start pumping go ahead all right slowly nice and slow yep start sucking out that fluid you can see the color has a lot better now Go ahead, keep going. There we go. Nice. Looks good. Yeah, it's looking a lot better than it did before. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. And uh, we're gonna fill her all the way up. Perfect. Three drain and fills? Three, yeah. Let's see what we got. All right. Heard a little something. Go ahead and turn her yet. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And do about 10 of those. How's she feeling? Feels good. Awesome. Yeah, nice, you know, a little bit, you know, but not nearly as, it was like, not really switching around as good, steering. Like, I'm able to do it just one-handed. I love Remember it. Before, I was kind of like, pulling it pretty hard. I love it. Uh, it's just kind of going back and forth. Money, money. How many times do you think that is? I don't know, I lost count. Oh, that's fine. Okay. I say motor her down, let's check our level. Let's see All what right. she looks like. Go ahead and wipe her up. We'll see what she looks like. Throw her in. Awesome. All the way down? Yeah, that should be good, yeah. See what she looks like. Yank her out. Look at that cherry. Look at how nice that cherry is. You happy with the color? Yeah. Where's right. it supposed to be on the stick here? At the oh, top it's just it's just the line right there in the side. Oh, okay. Yep, the line right there in the side yeah, shows you. That. Yep, we're bulletproof. Nice and clear, liquid cherry. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Notification on the next video. All right, this is the ATF fluid that's in the 59 Kitty Cat after it's been in here for about three years, still perfectly cherry. <laughs> and this is what we put in the 59 Kitty, way back three years ago. 1959 Cadillac DeVille. And uh, that's what this car came with way back in 1959. It came with um, automatic transmission fluid in the power steering. And uh, if you wanna see that video, it's up here in the corner. If you ever wanna get the products, you can get them right through my link. And that's down in the comment and description section. And uh, if you wanna see the rest of the videos on Matt's truck, uh, definitely uh, check out the playlist right here in the middle. Any closing notes, Matt? No, it's, it's a gorgeous day out here in Las Vegas. How's Beautiful. She, how's she running? Runs excellent. Everything's going good. I love it. Running right. like a long distance runner. I love it. Cross I love country. It. I love it. So check out that playlist right here in the middle and we'll see you back next time right here on Synthetic Oil Protection. Cheers to keeping your vehicles wet, lubed, and protected. There you go.